Hi, everybody. All right, so we're really back in time still. Uh, working on a circuit board panel in the last video, got that thing finished up for the most part. And you can see here it's in its proper orientation. Uh, I, I, I told you, so it's a, you know it's a replacement for that vertical panel that you see that most people have their fuse box on. While that perfectly is perfectly fine, it, I felt that it was too far away, you know, from the pilot. So there you can see where it's uh, properly leaned up against where it's it, it matches with the uh, screw holes at the top and the two holes right next to the fuel uh, selector valve. So it's going to be really, really close. However, here's a warning. So you see the pieces of metal that I am currently riveting across, right? Uh, those are wire routing channels, right? That's made for, you know, the ease of helping you run wire all over the place, right? It's just a flat piece of aluminum with a whole bunch of holes that look conspicuously like that's what, uh, you know, wire ties are supposed to go through. <clears throat> if you're going to do a system like I did, where you have a, you know, uh, an, an angular circuit breaker panel to get closer to it like that, it works great. Problem is, those center channels have bends in the edges to strengthen them, right? They're just flat pieces of aluminum. Make sure they are curved down. If they are curved up, you will not be able to get a uh, Phillips head screwdriver onto the screws to take that out, so that would be bad. Okay, having finished all of that, now we have moved on, and we're doing the canopy ejection handle system, which I will tell you all about. You can kind of see me working on, on there. And, if anyone that uh, has been watching these videos recognizes that uh, piece of aluminum there, that was the uh, aileron guide, wing guide, which is used in every single kit from empennage all the way to the finishing kit. So kudos to Van. And kudos for me somehow for keeping the vinyl on this long. So the canopy ejection handle. Basically, it's just a you know metal handle that sticks to the fuselage that's connected to sort of a makeshift bell crank where as you torque it around it's connected to two push rods that are those are each connected to one of the uh, pins that holds the canopy in place so as you twist it it pulls the push rods in pulling the pins in and then when the pins are released the canopy will basically eject itself sort of I mean, this isn't the kind of thing where it's like rocket propelled and shoots 80 feet in the air, right? You pull that handle, chances are it's going to take your vertical stabilizer out. But if you're pulling that handle, there's only one reason, right? You're, you got to get out. Now, I never plan on using it, right? God, I hope not. I, uh, if I'm ever doing aerobatics alone, uh, it would have to be a pretty s s weird CG situation for me to feel like I have to ditch. But, but anyway, I'm putting it in. You don't have to put it in. Remember, this is experimental. You can do whatever you want. So there you can see the bell crank mechanism, which then gloriously disappeared. That basically sits right in the center of the sub-panel. And you have a big, long metal rod that sticks through the regular panel. Now, it's supposed to stick through the center of the panel. I need mine to be offset a little bit, so I'm going to have to kind of tweak the way that that... Uh, that that bell cranks position, only because the center, you know, I'm going to have a G5 up there, so the center is technically going to be really close to that G5. So I would just kind of like to move that thing like an inch, inch and a half to the uh, to the right. And once I've got all of that set up, we're going to do something really cool. You're about to get a nice uh, a nice close up. So once we have that kind of system in place, I thought, you know, what, while we're here, and I got the panel clicked on, I'm just going to go ahead and keep working. So. That steel piece you see right there is uh, canopy, well, what do they call it? It's part of the canopy hinge, right? So it is attached to the air strut, and then that basically cams uh, the canopy open and closed, right? So that's, where, that's what holds the pressure. And it's got a notch in it, so that as the canopy goes up and down, it rides in that notch and pushes against the gas strut, which you can see bolted on to the subframe right there. Once that piece of steel is in, you can see it kind of going back and forth. All you have to do is put the canopy on, connect the gas struts, and then voila. And there you go. 
Now, without the canopy on, it thing definitely gets heavy fast. But once the canopy's on, it goes down pretty easy. But look at that, up and down. Isn't that beautiful? All right, the next video, we're going to continue working on old chapter, like, 34, 35 stuff. Just things that things to catch up on now that the fuel system is done. So thanks for joining me, everyone. See you soon.